Hello and welcome to RC Birds and thanks for stopping by. In this video I finished the build of my MF01X chassis. Before I start let me show you two things. I did some modifications on the rear suspension. The first was a problem that this upper arm gets to the gear housing and as soon the ground clearance is defined by this screw here and they say put uh, the same in here so here the lower screw there the lower screw then you're good to go i put it up to the upper point now the geometry isn't complete parallel but as you can see almost no effect here on the wheel hub i think i leave it the drop on both sides is the same. That's good. And the second thing I did, I removed the spacers here and here. Now the shock isn't uh, straight up. It's a little bit uh, diagonal, but I don't think this has any effect. And uh, my problem was that the ball ends I used didn't thread in deep enough in this uh, lower arm and the shock mount so I remove the spacers and put in new screws I'm not sure here on the front I have spacers too if I can uh, leave them away or if the shock will have the front here so I have in spare Longer ball ends. Ah. No, sorry, ad hoc, I can't find them. So let's dive in into back D. And again, I use these Tamiya washers to reduce the slop on the lower arm. This looks very good.
So for step 29, it's again high and low ground clearance. I go with a low ground clearance. And as long as these arms aren't in the way of something else, I stay with the geometry they give it to me. For step 30, it's building up the shocks, but I already had my mini CVA shocks, so this I can skip. So I like to use my 13T China Jeep motor, which might get a little bit hot. So I don't use this uh, paper motor plate, which uh, for sure is uh, to keep uh, off the heating, because I have this metal plate. This should uh, remove the heat pretty better than uh, the other thing. And I like to use a 24T pinion from Carson, which is made out of steel. Okay, for step 34, I did some work off camera, which is mainly this paper stripe here. They give you instruction how the pinion and the first gear have to work together, not too tight, not too wide, 
just with a little space into here. And uh, the former method I often use is to put a paper between both uh, gears. Now in step 35, it's time to install the electronics. This is a pretty easy step, nothing special. Step 36 are the wheels. I don't build up the wheels. I got these tires. These are foam tires. My friend Markus from MS Fun Racer RC told me this. He had very good experience with them. And for this, we have a limit of 65 millimeters. 
and this applies to the rules. In step 37, it's about attaching the wheels. And on my researches, I found out that uh, the wheels doesn't stay really tight uh, to the axle, and, or the axle is a little bit sloppy. And uh, Steve from Shenna C gave me the tip in one of his videos to use these washers from Traxxas, which are five millimeter washers uh, from the inside diameter. So for step 38, I lost some footage. It's about the two battery doors. For here, I use a standard uh, pin, which uh, Tamir says or gives you in the kit. For this one, because I want to get an easy access, I use this uh, bigger one, which I already had in my toolbox. I don't want to go with the wires above the drive shaft. So this is my battery door. And for all so far, on the rear side, I'm good. For the front side, I have to do some adjustments. Here's still a little bit too in. I will change this to a toe out. But this uh, will come later when I test the car here in the apartment. It's very stiff from the suspension. This is good. So next thing is uh, step 39, which is the body. I don't use this Jimny body. I have another body. And for this, I do a little slideshow and be back after this.
So, now the build is finished. Just kidding, this was my last year's car, which had reached a top speed of 34.9 miles an hour. But this is not what we're here for. I added some uh, stickers from the kit, like the window frames, the wiper, the air intakes or the Lotus emblem. I also added some of my stickers. Hard to see the number plate. And I got some uh, stickers from XXX Main from Canada, which are these tribal designs. I think it looks pretty cool. And I want to show it to you before I drive with it. These M cars aren't so stable because they are very small and it might happen that uh, it might tumble over at some speeds, I will see. I've planned two runs and maybe a third run. I'm not planning to change the configuration, but I like to improve myself. I like to beat the 34.9 miles. And on my first drive, which is the test drive and for adjusting some things, this will be done under real conditions. So I can test it out. And if I break my car, I have a result. This is my plan for now. If everything works very good, I do a third run and do a review in this video. I know the three building videos of this car were very long each around 20 to 25 minutes. This is not the normal thing I do, but if you stay to the end of each video, I thank you a lot. If you got some questions, the comment section is yours. And as always, please like, share and subscribe. See you soon on Aussie Birds.